There's a lot to like about the integration of Corel Draw with Embroidery Studio. Creating perfect shapes is one of my favourite features. We've all had the situation where we need to repair an untidy unpick or cover a hole in the garment with a new name. One of the easiest ways is to stitch over the damaged area with a tatami fill in the same colour as the garment and stitch the new name on top. What we have is this and what we want to end up with is this. And the best shape for that is usually a rectangle with radius corners. First, create the new name to cover that damaged area. Now, switch to Corel Draw using the icon in the mode toolbar. Using the rectangle tool from the toolbox, draw a rectangle large enough to cover the new name and any damaged area of the garment. One of the properties of a rectangle in Corel Draw is what type of corner the rectangle has. Make sure radius is selected in the toolbar and either insert the values in the property box or use the reshape tool to drag the corner radius you require. Now every shape in Corel Drawer has a fill and an outline, and the convert process will produce both, but adding the outline in Embroidery Studio is superior because you have more control over the column width. So let's delete the outline by selecting None in the toolbar. Now add a colour to the selected object by left clicking in the colour palette. Now hit the convert button to return to Embroidery Studio. Resequence the lettering so it sits on top of the fill. Add the border with the simple offsets tool or the advanced offsets if you have it. Select zero spacing, one offset and satin column C. Thank you for watching. Visit our website for more information.